On the 16th of December 2021, 76-year-old Mark Stanley Personette was arrested in Conifer, Colorado, in connection to the 1978 murder of 15-year-old girl Marissa Rolf Harvey. The events unfolded on Christmas Day in 1977, when Marissa made a life-changing discovery. Her biological sister named Miriam Wadiff, who was in her 30s, whom she never met before, came to visit her at her home in Port Washington, New York. Marissa was adopted at the age of three and was unaware of any family that she might have had outside her adoptive family. Several months later, Marissa asked her adoptive parents to let her visit her family in San Francisco, California. Although they felt uncomfortable about letting her go, they felt it was unfair not to, so in her Easter break in March of 1978, she travelled there alone by plane. On the 27th of March, Marissa wanted to spend the afternoon horseback riding at the Golden Gate Park stables so her sister's friend dropped her off, unaware that the stables were closed. When Marissa failed to return from her day trip, Miriam reported her sister missing. The following day, just before sunset, about half a mile away from the stables, a man was walking in Sutra Heights Park when he spotted a pair of small feet of a lifeless girl perking out of the bush and the authorities were contacted. Investigators identified the girl to be Marissa. She had been badly beaten, raped, and strangled with a cord-like device. Evidence was collected and people were questioned. The investigators used the best available technology at the time and exhausted every lead, but the case went cold. In October of 2020, cold case detectives reopened the case using advanced investigative methods. Just over a year later, detectives zeroed in on 76-year-old Mark Stanley Personette as the suspect. On the 16th of December 2021, Deputies arrested him at Conifer, Colorado, which is about 40 miles from Denver, and charged him with Marissa's murder. He's held at the Jefferson County Jail without bail. The authorities have been tight-lipped on exactly how they identified Mark at this early stage of arrest, but they did thank forensic scientists for their part in helping solve the case. Mark was previously arrested three times in New Jersey in 1979. In one of those cases... He was accused of asking a 16-year-old girl if she wanted a ride in his car before beating and raping her. He was charged with aggravated lewd assault and was indicted in 1980. The authorities believe he may be responsible for further unsolved crimes.